one is uh wait no bars no ma nobody's is that? yeah so we're recording are we? yeah okay so i'm going to um do a mobility and a core session here at the moment so if you're i'll give it a few minutes for people to log in give us a wave if you're if you're on board um all you need is a mac to do this and if you do join in later on that's absolutely fine and you can just rewind the video or just pick up where we are. So with each of these movements, I am going to give a beginner uh, kind of intermediate and more advanced version. So if you find any of them particularly tough, again, there's going to be that easier version. And your best bet is to stick on that easier version and try and match that before progressing on to the next one. I'm going to do a mobility focused movement and then a core focused movement. Okay, and then we're going to go mobility, core, mobility, core, etc. It's going to be about 20, 25 minutes all together. Um, and it's suitable for all ages. So if you've got any kids or anything like that at home, you're more than welcome to join in. We got some music in the background. Uh, my only concern is if the music is, will there be like copyright on it or anything like that? So just, just, <laughs> so hopefully not. But um, yeah, okay, so I'm going to start off with the squat. Now, I'm doing everything in my bare feet. If you can do everything in your bare feet as well, that'd be great. If uh, if not, that's actually fine as well. The only thing is, is if you're on a slippery surface, just make sure that it's not dangerous. Okay, so whatever you're doing, just be careful. Alright, so we're going to do a bit of a warm-up, so we're just going to do a couple of body width squats starting off. Okay, we're going feet shoulder width apart. We go hands out in front when we squat, try and get down nice and low. And we're going to go for 10 of these. 7, 8, 9, 10. Lovely, okay. So now what we're going to do is, we're just going to go down here into this deep squat position. Now, if you find this really hard, what I want you to do is come forward onto your hands, okay? So this is the position we're looking to hold. If you're here, okay, or if you find this easy, what we're looking to do is sit back onto those heels, okay? So we're trying to get the heel onto the ground on each side. So try and sit back onto those heels, and then if you're able, lift the hands up off the ground. Some people will feel a stretch here in the inner thigh, some people here on the back of the calf, okay? So whichever one is for you, that's actually fine. Again, if this is really challenging, Come forward onto your hands, okay? So I'm gonna try and practice sitting here and try and hold this. Sometimes you might feel a bit of a pull here. So we're gonna spend about five minutes on, us, on this squat pattern, okay? So bear with me, you're gonna be in this position for a while. Sometimes you're gonna feel a bit of a pull here at the front, okay? And what that is, is these muscles turning on to try and stop you from falling backwards, okay? So again, stay here as best you can. If you need to stand up, Stand up, shake off the legs, and go again. Okay, hands up in front, squatting down as low as we can. So, we're going to start from the ground up and talk about the feet. If you notice that your feet are falling in like this, okay, and the arch of the foot is flat, try and concentrate on rolling that foot out. Okay, we should have three points of contact. The big toe, the little toe, and the heel. Okay, so those should be evenly on the floor. We should be able to grip the floor like a claw with our toes, okay? If you're rolled in on the inside of the foot, Again, try and roll that foot out. If you can, you might need to push that knee out and you might get a bit of a stretch here in the groin. That's fine. If you're still in the squat position, good stuff, okay? We're gonna be here for another two minutes. All right, so what we're gonna do now is if you're able, we're going to roll over to one side and try and rotate around, okay? So we're pushing over to one side and we're rotating the body small bit and we're pushing that knee forward, okay? So we're over to the other side, rolling around so I'm almost bringing my shoulders this way to put more force through this one side, push this knee over my toe, and look for a stretch on the back of the calf. Okay, again, here in the middle, roll over to this side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that heel come up a little bit. Okay, so this heel is a little bit off the ground, and I'm looking for a stretch on the back of the ankle. Okay, so rolling over to the other side. So rolling those shoulders around a bit. Heel comes off the ground, stretching the ankle. Okay, back to the middle, pause for a second. All right, if any, at any stage you need to stand up, of course stand up. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing again, except this time I'm gonna push that knee out slightly. So knee out, roll over that leg. Okay, again, looking for a stretching ankle. You might feel in a slightly different spot. Okay, so now we're just changing the angle of the knee. So instead of just going straight over, I'm gonna push that knee out first of all. So push that knee away, and then I'm gonna roll over onto that leg, onto that knee. Heel comes off the ground slightly, and I look for a stretch back here. Okay, so we're mobilizing the soleus muscle. Now for some of us, we might feel a, a pinch at the front of the ankle. Okay, if you feel a pinch, 
If you don't feel a pinch, continue with what you were doing there. If you do feel a pinch, experiment with that knee position, okay? You might feel the pinch when the knee is in. You might feel it when the knee's out. So whichever one you don't feel it in, go with that one. So we're looking for a stretch in the back here. Again, if you feel the pinch, we want to try and avoid that. Pushing the knee out over here, stretch on the back of the ankle. Super, okay? If you need to stand up now and take a break, do so. Okay, we got our one, um, one more thing here. We're going to try and work on the groins a little bit. So we're going to go hands together, push the knees out to the side. Okay? You might only be able to push a small bit and then back in. Push a small bit and then back in. Push a small bit and then back in. If we're able, let's try drive the knees out ourselves. Okay? So without the hands, hands on the floor, push the knees out, push the knees out, push the knees out. Good. If you're here on the floor like this, okay, what you can do is hands nice and wide, push the knees out to the side. Okay, you might be very narrow here like this, that's absolutely fine. But again, try and push those knees out. We're looking for a stretch in the groin. So again, forward, push the knees out. Okay, if you're able to do it from the heels, do it from the heels, push the knees out. Ideally, we should be able to get the pants together and stay really upright. Okay, one more. Push those knees out to the side. Excellent, okay. Next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna do some reaches, okay? So from here, if you're, again, if you're in this forward position, just reach up as high as you can, one hand at a time. Reach, and reach. Now we're moving on to the upper body a little bit, but we're staying in the squat position. Okay, reach. Come up all the time. Reach. Lovely. If we're able, sit back here. Now let's go reach, thumb up. Really try and open out the chest as much as we can. Thumb up. Lovely. Okay, if you're well in for this, reach, rotate, open out the chest as we reach. Good. Again, if you're doing that, the easier version, just keep going with that. And then the very last version is we're going to hold on to these toes, push those knees out to the side, they always get that chest up. And again, we're going to reach, reach, open out the chest, back down. Reach, open out the chest, back down. All the time, whilst I'm doing this, I've got my elbows against my knees, pushing those out to the side. Reach, open out the chest. Push that opposite elbow, so I'm keeping this knee out to the side as I reach up overhead. Lovely, back down. We'll stand up, we'll shake it out. Okay, so again, if you're able to hold that squat all the time, brilliant, last one of these. Grab those toes if you need to, or go from the hands, whatever suits you, and we're gonna do our reach. Okay, chest proud. Up, reach, open up the chest. Four to do. Two. Three, four, here we go. I'm gonna stand up and we'll shake them out. Okay, good stuff. Right, so we're gonna go into some core work and we're gonna do some plank variations. Okay, so what I wanna do is get you warm first of all, so get the core warm and then progress you through some exercises. All right, so we're gonna start off with a plank. Three, two, one, off we go. Just a regular plank. All right, so we're gonna focus on quality here. Okay, and relax. Next thing now we're going to do is we're going to do the same position and we're going to pull the elbows down towards toes, toes towards our elbows. So we're going to go here, okay? Pull on those elbows down, pull the toes up. Squeeze and relax. Okay, if you're well able to hold, just hold in between, okay? Up again. Squeeze. Pull the elbows down to the toes, toes up to the elbows and relax. Squeeze. Two, three. Four, five, and relax. Two more. Squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. One more. Squeeze. Two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. If you need to take a break during any of those, of course, do so. Okay, we're going to take a little breather. Okay, we're going to go again. This time we're going to do three second holds. Okay, so again, up onto the plank. If you need to take a break again in between these, do so. Or if you need to plank from your knees, plank from your knees. Okay, ready? Here, squeeze. One, two, three, and relax. Squeeze. One, two, three, and relax. Squeeze. And relax. Squeeze. And relax. One more. Big squeeze. Squeeze. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, good stuff. Now we're going to go into a bit of a hinge and a bit of hip work. Okay, so we're going to go on our back. We're looking at the hamstrings this time. 
So we're going to grab the back of this leg. We're going to straighten up the knee and relax. Straighten up the knee and relax. Straighten up the knee and relax. Okay, so as we straighten that knee, you feel a stretch on the back of the leg, stretch on the hamstring. Okay, and we're going to be trying, trying to be active with a lot of these today. So whenever we're doing these stretches, we've got one muscle that's working. Let's see how stretches. So the quad is working here. I'm a little tighter on this side. So we'll do five each side. Two, three, four, five. Lovely. And swap it over again. So we're going to stay on this side now. Push one. Push two. Push three. Four. Five. Good. Stay on the other side now. So ideally, we should be able to get that knee straight, okay? So if you're very flexible, you'll probably get that knee straight every time. All right, push, it should be about an eight or a 10 on a stretch. Again, engaging that quad every time, okay? Now, slight variation. This time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the top, get your stretch, and then pull the toe towards you, slowly, okay? Relax. Pull the toe towards you slowly. Relax, okay, as you pull that toe towards you, you want to feel a deeper stretch. You might feel it up around the calf or just at the back of the knee. We're doing five of these. Four. Five. Again, we're being active, okay? So we're using our own muscles to pull ourselves into position to get the stretch. One. So pull the toe down towards it. Two. Keeping the stretch and hamstring all the time. Three. If the leg is shaking, that's absolutely fine. Four. Again, these max should be eight or ten. Five, lovely, and relax. Okay, so that's the hamstring, and we're gonna go into the glutes. We're gonna do a 90-90-90 position. Okay, so we did this one yesterday if you were joining us. So we've got 90 here, 90 here, 90 here. We're gonna do three corners. Okay, we're going down to the first thing. Off we go. Now we're gonna feel this on the back side here, okay? On the glutes. Chest down towards that knee, all the way down, and relax. Towards the front leg, so we're hitting more piriformis this time. So it should feel in a similar spot, but it should feel, well, it should be in the same spot, but slightly different. Lovely, and we're gently going towards this back leg. Okay, we can use the hands here if we need to, to assist, okay? We should feel this here on the inside of the thigh. Okay, and now we're going to relax. From here, we're gonna see, can we lift that leg off the ground? Okay, two, three, if we really need to, lie back. If you can't lift the leg off the ground, don't worry. Just go into this stretch here again. So the leg lifts are going to be for our very advanced people, okay? Good job, okay? We'll go back to the first corner. Chest down towards this knee. Four, five second hold, lovely. Down towards the middle here. Keeping this knee on the ground. Again, if this one's tough, use the hands and just bring the chest down as far as you can, okay? Lastly, if you're able to lead towards this back leg, you should feel a stretch inside here, again, Lean back if you need to. Again, look for the stretch here. You don't want to turn these guys on too much. And then lastly, if we're able, let's do a rotation here. Two, three, four. It's not uncommon to get a bit of a crampy feeling in here if it's the first time doing it. So if you feel that cramp, again, just be gentle with it. Lean back and just do very light repetitions of it. Perfect, we're gonna stop over. Okay, here we go. So give me a second to get set up. So 90, 90, 90. Okay, so first one we're going to do is chest down towards that front knee. Look for a stretch on the backside glute. For five second hold, lovely. We'll come down towards the, the foot. Three, four, five. We're going towards the back leg. One, two, three, four, five. Off we go again. Externally or internally rotate the leg or lift that back foot. For advanced guys, if you're a beginner and you need to take a break, just take a break during those, okay? Front knee again. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that knee in the floor, down towards the, the foot. Piriformis this time, should feel in the same spot, but should feel slightly different. And then again, towards that back leg. Three, four, five. Take an extra rest if you're just starting off. And then let's try that internal rotation. And if you're very good, do it with the hands off the ground. 
Just lifting that leg off the floor. Lovely, and take a breather. Okay, we're gonna go into a bird dog now. All right, so we're setting up here on our mat. What we're doing is opposite arm, opposite leg. Okay, so I'm going out with this hand, thumb up, push that leg back, back into the middle. Okay, so as I push the leg away, I'm squeezing the glutes. I don't want this leg up too high and I don't want to be arching my back, so we're gonna keep that spine in neutral. All right, so push that leg back, hand up, and I want to turn everything on as much as I can. Okay, so as I'm doing this exercise, I do three on each side, squeeze the fist, squeeze everything in the arm, squeeze everything in the shoulder, squeeze everything in the legs, squeeze everything up and down the spine. Okay, we'll do three on one side, three on the other. So we're going out. So we really have to engage in this if we want to get the most out of it. When we come in, if you're able, hand to the knee, up, squeeze everything up and down the spine, try and keep it in neutral, back down. So you can do a very easy version of it, or you can really put the energy into it, and effort into it, and get more out of it, okay? Same the other side now. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can bring your hands closer together, okay? So if you want to make it harder, bring the hands closer together. I'll do a set here now from the front. So if I can put my hand between the chairs. There we go. Okay, so I'm going out. I'm squeezing everything in this air. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze everything up and down the spine. What? Squeeze, squeeze. Back in. Let's get a touch this time. Touch. Squeeze everything in that arm. Squeeze everything in the back. Squeeze the glutes. Touch the elbow off the knee if you're able. Lovely. Okay, we'll do the same there side. Okay. So we're going back. Opposite leg. Squeeze everything in that arm. Everything in the back. Bring in. Touch. If you're able, and we go again, squeeze. Good, one more. Out again. Squeeze everything up and down the back, everything in the air. Lovely, and relax. Okay, super. We're going to move on to the thoracic spine. Okay, so we're going to do some cat cannons here. Okay. All right, getting the spine moving a bit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, just gonna move this guy a little closer to you. Okay, we're gonna go on, there, on our backs. So now we're working on the thoracic spine. For a lot of people, this one is challenging. Okay, so we're gonna push this lower back into the ground. Okay, we gotta keep it here all the time. So squeeze these abs and gauge these. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be using this for the next exercise. So squeeze these abs and gauge these. We're gonna go elbows and wrists against the floor like this. Okay. So if you can't get those towards the floor, just do your best. Okay, get these as close to the ground as possible. Really emphasize again, pressing that lower back into the ground. Okay, if we arch the back, typically it makes it easier to get the hands against the floor. All right, so that can be cheating as well. But so again, we want to try and keep the back pressed into the floor. From here, I'm gonna just overhead, eyes again, touch, back down. As I go overhead, this can get tough. And we can feel pressure in between the shoulder blades. Now, if you're super mobile, that's fine, okay? This will be really easy for you. Okay, but most people will have trouble with this. And we feel pressure again in between the shoulder blades. So what we're doing is we're mobilizing that thoracic spine, trying to get it into extension. Okay? Again, try and get the elbows and wrists against the floor. We're going to go for three more reps. One. Two. Three, lovely. Okay, excellent. With this, we're going to couple it with a core exercise. All right, so what we're going to do is again, we're going to emphasize this engagement here. So we're going to press that lower back into the ground, tuck in our chin, and just lift the head up off the ground. Okay, so this is going to work the abs. Now, if it's very easy, you're going to take it through a couple of progressions. So, progression one is just leave one leg out here. Okay, now this is getting a little bit harder. Okay, progression two. Keep the second leg out. Okay, now it's getting a little bit harder again. All right, so we're just gonna hold here. Let's just take a quick breather, okay? If that was tough for you, just stay in that progression where you've got one leg out and you've got the head up and chin up like this and engage here. Tuck in that chin, it makes it easier to hold on to the weight of the head, okay? If you wanna make that a little bit harder, let's just get the chest up off the ground a little bit higher and do the same. 
Okay, and then we're going to start now in this position for the next progression. Okay, hold, off we go, hold. Okay, if we want to make it harder, let's drop one leg out. Again, just concentrating on the quality movement, the quality exercise. Two. Good, we're going to go for about 20 seconds. Good, okay, if we want to make it harder now, let's bring both legs out. And then, here we go. Okay, keep that chest high. The higher you get the chest, the better. Good. Okay, we're going to go for five more seconds. Okay, we're going to do one more rep. Lovely, okay, super. All right, so find what, an exercise of those, of those three or four that suits you. All right, we're going to go back into the first one. Press the lower back in against the ground. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up, all the way down. All the way up. We're going for eight. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Lovely. Okay, straight back into this core exercise. All right, so we're going to hold for about 30 seconds. Okay, so if you need to take a break in between that 30 seconds, do so. All right, we're going to go in. Off we go. All right, no time to waste. Off we go. Okay, so I'm going to do this very hard exercise version. If you want to make this one harder, again, you have to keep this core engaged. If you're able to keep this core engaged, what you can do is you can go hands out overhead as well. All right? So here, hands out overhead. As we bring the hands and the feet away from the body, it obviously gets harder. Okay? If you find, keep going. Okay, we've got another five seconds. If you find you're in any of these, and uh, rest, if you find you're in any of these, that you're arching here, if you've got pressure in your lower back, and you can't maintain the spine on the floor, you got to do the regression of it. Okay, so do it an easier version, or just take a break for a couple of seconds. Okay, back to this one. Pressure, press, uh, press the lower back into the ground. Up and back. Six. Seven. Eight. Lovely. Okay. We ready? Three, two, one. Off we go. Okay, pick your version. Okay, 30 second hold. We need to go here. Okay, we can go here. Okay, we're 10 seconds in. Okay, we're gonna do a double leg. Okay, or we can do the arms and the legs. All right, pick your version. Okay, we got 10 more seconds. Again, gotta keep the, the head up, keep the chest up if you can, keep the lower back pressed into the ground. There should be no pressure on your lower back. Three, two, one, and rest. Super. Okay, we have got some shoulder work now, and then we're gonna do some, a bit of core, and we're gonna finish off with the neck, okay? So, we wanna work here a small bit on the pecs. We wanna try and open up these guys. All right, so we're gonna point the thumbs backwards like this, and we're just gonna come back, squeeze the shoulders together, chest up. We're looking for a bit of a stretch in the chest, okay? So if we've been doing any push-ups or anything like that over the last few weeks, this is gonna be one to kinda of keep those pecs loose. All right, so, from the side, if you don't feel a stretch anywhere, it's fine. Just go through the movement. Okay, it's a good sign if you don't feel a stretch. Okay, it means that your pecs are nice and loose. Okay. All right, and then we're going to go here. We're going to go push-up position. And from here, we're going to do shoulder taps. Okay, so now we're bringing in a little bit of core and some shoulder stability. Okay, so we're working those stabilizers around that shoulder. Okay. Three more. One, two, three. Okay, the last one then, I'll show you this from behind. We're gonna go here, we're gonna S wave up, try and touch these together, grab a hold of them if you can. Same on the other side. S wave up. So we really need to be able to extend, here's a thoracic spine. We really need to be able to extend there in order to get a good grip of these hands together. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do two more. One. 
Last one. Two. Okay, so there are three for the shoulder. All right, so we've got one for the chest. Here we go. Got one more round of them. If you don't feel a stretch here, great. Okay, it's a really good sign that your pecs are nice and loose. All right. Squeezing the shoulder wrists together at the back. Three more. One. Two. Three. Lovely. Okay, we're going to do a bit of core and a bit of shoulder spinny. If this one was really tough the first time, just widen up the feet. Okay, widen up the feet makes it a bit easier. We're imagining like we have a glass of water here in our back. All right, and we're trying to stabilize that glass of water. We don't want it to fall over. If you want to make it harder, feet right beside each other. Makes it really hard. Okay, so usually you want to go about hip width or about shoulder width with the feet. Three more. One. Really try and make them quality as well. Don't try and flap down each time, okay? So control the way down, control on the way up. Okay, last one. Lovely. Okay, we're into our S wave. Okay, so we're here. One, one over, one under. <laughs> Trying to touch them off each other. Six to do. Three. Don't worry if you can't touch the hands together, that's fine. Most people can't. All right, you probably notice the difference between sides. All right, I'm going to do a couple of extra reps here now as I'm talking to you. You'll probably notice the difference between sides, which is very common. Again, it's just one to practice, okay? So if you notice on one side that I can get really high up on this guy, but on this one, it's not as high. Maybe you do your brow with this one, okay? Or maybe you have hurt the opposite shoulder before. But again, it's just a good exercise to, to do on both sides regularly, and you'll see improvements over time. Okay, we're going to do a C-spine here, okay? Gonna be on the back. It's a really simple one. All we're doing is pressing our lower back. Okay, so lower back here, or, or sorry, behind the neck, beg your pardon. So pressing behind the neck into the floor. Okay, so press that into the floor. Now, do it slowly at the start because sometimes people will get a cramp when they do it. Okay, press that into the floor. So what we're looking at here is posture, really. We're just going for reps. So when you go in, hold one, two. Relax. Hold down. Relax. Okay. We're really looking at posture. We're looking at things like chin poke. Okay. What we're trying to avoid is wedging of the spine. Okay. And I'll explain that to you now in a minute. Okay. Keep going on repetitions if you're doing those. So what we're trying to avoid is, is being stuck into this chin poke position. So what do we do? We're trying to extend here to the fastest point and we're trying to be able to retract at the cervical spine. All right, and that's going to get us into a much nicer posture and prevent us from being crouched over like this when we're older and developing things like dowager's humps. Okay, so we're here again. So one more of these, 10 more reps. Pressing that lower uh, upper neck, sorry, into the floor. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with poor posture, quote unquote, if we're sitting or if we're on our laptops. You'll see a lot of us here like this on our phones, and that can certainly, you know, bring in this kind of wedging or chin poke position. Okay, so that's not a good thing if we're doing it over and over, particularly if we don't bring it into this position. Okay, if we don't bring it into retraction. Okay, tucking the chin into the ears, trying to put together a double chin here, and that's going to help our C spine or cervical spine get the mobility it needs and prevent the chin poke position okay there's nothing wrong with being in this crouched over position if we're on our phone as long as we're bringing the neck into the opposite position all right so we have gas that's just a half an hour gone there now we're going to do a four minute finisher okay so i'm going to pick four movements four of the movements we've done there already we're going to go for 20 seconds on 10 seconds off we're starting in 20 seconds okay so it's 20 on 10 off we're going to do each of those four movements twice okay so we're going to do a b c d a b c d so A is going to be our plank, B is going to be our plank and shoulder taps, and then we're actually going to go into a side plank, okay? So, so side plank is the new one we haven't done. Okay, off we go. So plank position, 20 seconds. If this is easy, do a squeeze. Pull the elbows to the toes, toes to the elbows, and relax. Squeeze, and relax. Squeeze. There shouldn't be any pressure on your lower back. Okay, if you ever get pressure on your lower back during any of these, 
Just take a breather. Squeeze. And relax, okay. During this rest period, you got 10 seconds off now if you want to take it. If you're well able, just keep your plank position during the rest periods, okay? Three, two, one. We're up here into push-up position. Okay, we'll do these shoulder taps again. Steady as we can. All right? Good, steady as we can. We're going to try and keep an eye on the time as we're doing it. Three, two, one. If you're able, keep going. Okay, if you need to take a break, take a break. All right, next one is going to be a side plank. Okay, so side plank position. Go from your knees or go from your toes, whichever you prefer. Okay, if we're here on our toes, off we go, we should be working. If we're here on our toes, just go down here, rotate up. Come down here, rotate up. Okay, keep going now. All right. So, 20 seconds. Take a 10 second break if you need to. If you're well able, keep going. All right. Keeping that calf off the floor. Okay, stop it over. All right, off we go. All right, either go from the knees or the toes. All right. Keep this calf off the floor if you're doing the full plank. Okay, if you're able. All right, and then we're going to go here, rotate up. Here. Rotate up. Here. Rotate up. Here. And rest if you're if you need to rest. Okay, and then we'll stop over. Okay, we're back into our front plank. Alright, again if you feel pressure in the lower back, just do an easier version. Off we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm sliding on the floor here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide out. We got 20 second hold. And I'm gonna slide. I'm going to slide out, I'm going to slide it. Okay, and then rest. Okay, if you're able to keep going, keep going. All right, if you need to rest, take a rest. Three, two, one. Lovely. We're all straight up here. Okay, shoulder taps, off we go. Steady as we can. Imagine like that glass of water on the lower back. Steady as we can. Go wider with the feet if you need to make it easier. Good job. Stay going now and rest if you need to rest. If you have to keep going, keep going. Okay, we're going side plank in three, two, one. Side plank. Lovely. Again, here and up. Here and up. Here and up. You can do the same if you're going from your knees. Okay, just come in and come up. Five seconds and we're going to rest. Okay, if you need to rest, three, two, one, take a rest. If you're able to keep going, keep going. Lovely, and we'll swap over. Perfect. Lovely, here we go now, full plank if you can. Lovely, you got to rest in five seconds if you need one. And rest. If you're able to keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, good stuff. Well done, well done, well done. Okay, we're going to do one finisher, okay? One more finisher. I just, I feel good here now. All right, so we're going to do one more. All right, if you're able, we're going to go back to this one. Okay, so a lot of people like to kind of feel a real deep burn here on the, on the uh, rectus abdominis of the abs for a finisher. Okay, so when we're ready, we're going to go back into that first exercise. All right, which are, sorry, not the first exercise, but we're going to go back into this one. Okay, we're going to do as many of these as we can. All right, so we're going to come up, we're going to hold this position. All right, now if this is really tough for you, again, just hold. All right, if you're able, we're going to do some reps. Okay, so we're going to come up, we're going to work for 30, off we go. All right, so if you're able to do these guys, go for these guys. All right, if it's these ones, do these ones. Keep going now, keep going. All right. If you want to make it harder, here we go. Keep going now, keep going. Okay, we've got another 10 seconds and we're, and we're done. Okay, if you want to do the easiest version here. You know, if you need to take a rest, take a rest. Five seconds. 
three, two, hold here for the last five, one, and rest. Good job, well done, well done. Okay, straight over onto our tummy, and we're just coming up. Big deep breath in, chest up, stretch the abs, come back onto the heels. All right, back onto the heels. Up we go again, chest up, suck in the air, fill the belly, stretch the abs, back down here. One more, up we go, fill the belly, stretch the abs, back down. Okay guys, so that wraps it up, that is about just about 40 minutes, okay, well, 35, 40 minutes. If you want to do another round of those core, obviously, do that last one again, work away. Um, hope you found this beneficial. If you do have any questions, even in the comment section, we're going to do another session on Thursday. So we're hoping to get some feedback from people just to see if there's anything we could do differently or anything we could do better. Um, thank you so much for joining in and for tuning in, and we will see you soon. It's not. Hi to everyone as well that's been watching. I see all the waves.